Chapter 18 Shortening the Prayers Attaxid Chapter 1 For what period of stay one should offer shortened prayers? Narrated Ibn Abbas The Prophet once stayed for 19 days and prayed shortened prayers so when we travel led and stayed for 19 days we used to shorten the prayer but if we traveled and stayed for a longer period we used to offer the full prayer narrated Yahya bin Ishak I heard Anas saying we traveled with the Prophet from Medina to Mecca and offered two rakat for every prayer till we returned to Medina I said did you stay for a while in Mecca? He replied, we stayed in Mecca for 10 days. Chapter 2 Al Salat, the prayers at Mina during Hajj. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar. I offered a prayer with the Prophet Abu Bakr, uh, Abu Bakr and uh, Umar at uh, Mina, and it was of two rakat. Uthman in the early days of his caliphate did the same, but later on he started praying the full prayer. Narrated Haritha bin Wahab, the Prophet I led us in the prayer at Mina during the peace period by offering two rakat. Narrated Abdur Rahman bin Yazid, we offered a four rakat prayer at Mina behind Ibn Affan. Abdullah bin Masud was informed about it. He said sadly, truly to Allah we belong and truly to him we shall return and added, I prayed to Rakat with Allah's messenger at Mina and similarly with Abu Bakr and with Umar during their caliphates. He further said, may I be lucky enough to have two of the four Rakat accepted by Allah. Chapter 3 How long did the Prophet, peace be upon him, stay during the Hajj? Narrated Ibn Abbas The Prophet and his companions reached Mecca in the morning of the fourth Dhul Hijjah, reciting Talbiyah. O oh Allah, we are obedient to your orders. We respond for, we respond for to your call, intending to perform Hajj. The Prophet ordered his companions to assume the Iram for the Umrah instead of Hajj, accepting those who had Hadi sacrificed with them. Chapter 4 The length of the journey that makes it permissible to offer a shortened prayer. Narrated Ibn Umar The Prophet said, a woman should not travel for more than three days except with a di maram, a male with whom she cannot marry at all, at all e.g. her brother, father, grandfather, etc. or her, her own husband. Narrated Ibn Umar The Prophet said, a woman should not travel for more than three days except with a di maram. Narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, It is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah and the last day to travel for one day and night except with a maram. Chapter 5 When a traveler leaves his original place, he can shorten his salat prayer. Narrated Anas bin Malik offered four dakat of suit prayer with the Prophet, peace be upon him, at Medina and two dakat at Dul Hulaifa. He had shortened the Asr prayer. Narrated Aisha When the prayers were first enjoined, they were of two dakat each. Later, the prayer in a journey was kept as it was, but the prayers for non-travelers were completed. As Suri said, I asked Urva what made Aisha pray the full prayers in journey. He replied, 
she did the same as Utman did. Chapter 6 Free Raka of Maghri prayer during the journey. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar. I saw Allah's Messenger delaying the Maghri prayer till he offered it along with the Isha prayer. Whenever he was in a hurry during the journey, Salim narrated, Ibn Umar used to do the same whenever he was in a hurry during the journey. And Salim added, Ibn Umar used to pray the Maghrib, pray, Maghrib and Isha prayers together in Al Mustalifa. Salim said, Ibn Umar delayed the Maghrib prayer because at that time he heard the news of the death of his wife Safiya bint Abi Ubaid. I said to him, the prayer is due. He said, go on. Again I said, the prayer is due. He said, go on, till we covered two or three miles. Then he got down, prayed and said, I saw the Prophet praying in this way whenever he was in a hurry during the journey. Abdullah bin Umar added, whenever the Prophet was in a hurry, he used to delay the Maghrib prayer and then, then offer free rakat of the Maghrib and perform taslim and after waiting for a short while, Ikama used to be pronounced for the Isha prayer when he would have offer two rakat and perform taslim. He would never offer any optional prayer till the middle of the night when he used to pray the Tahajud. Ta ta Chapter 7 To offer Nawafil on the back of animals Narrated Abdullah bin Amir from his father who said I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, offering the prayer on his month Rahila, whatever direction it took. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah The Prophet used to offer the Nawafil while riding, facing a direction other than the Qibla, that, other than that of the Qibla. Narrated Nafi Ibn Umar, while on a journey, used to offer the prayer and the Vitter on his mount, Rahila. He said that the Prophet used to do so. Chapter 8 To offer the Salat by signs while riding on an animal. Narrated Abdullah bin Dinar. On traveling, Abdullah bin Umar used to offer the prayer on his mount by signs, whatever direction he took. Abdullah said that the Prophet used to do so. Chapter 9 To get down to offer compulsory salat. Narrated Amir bin Rabia. I saw the Prophet on his mount praying Nawafil by nodding his head, whatever direction he faced. But Allah's Messenger never did the same in offering the, the compulsory prayers. Narrated Salim At night, Abdullah bin Umar used to offer the prayer on the back of his animal during the journey and never cared about the direction he faced. Ibn Umar said, Allah's Messenger used to offer the optional prayer on the back of his mount facing any direction and also used to pray the Vitter on it but never offer the compulsory prayer on it. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah The Prophet used to pray the Nawafil on his mount facing east and whenever he wanted to offer the compulsory prayer he used to dismount and face the Qibla. Chapter 10 To offer the Nawafil while riding a donkey Narrated Anas bin Serin We went to receive Anas bin Malik when he returned from Sham and met him at a place called Ainat Tamer. I saw him praying riding the donkey with his face to, to this direction, here to the left of the Qibla. I said to him, I have seen you offering the prayer in a direction other than that of the Qibla. He replied, if I had not seen Allah's messenger, messenger doing it, 
I would not have done it. Chapter 11 Whoever did not offer the Nova Field before and after the compulsory Salat during a journey. Narrated Hafspin Asim. Ibn Umar went on a journey and said, I accompanied the Prophet and he did not offer optional prayers during, during the journey. And Allah said, says, Verily, in Allah's Messenger, you have a good example to follow. 33.21 Narrated Ibn Umar I accompanied, accompanied, uh, I accompanied Allah's Messenger and he never offered never offered more than two rakat during the journey. Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman used to do the same. Chapter 12 Whoever offered Nawafil not after the compulsory salat but before it. Narrated Ibn Abu Layla Only Um Hani told us that she had seen the Prophet, peace be upon him, offering the duha forenoon prayer. She said, On the day of the conquest of Mecca, the Prophet took a bath in my house and offered eight rakat. I never saw him praying such light prayer, but he performed perfect prostration and bowing. Narrated Abdullah bin Amir that his father had told him that he had seen the Prophet, peace be upon him, praying Nawafil at night on the back of his mount on a journey, facing whatever direction he took. Narrated Salim bin Abdullah Ibn Umar said, Allah's Messenger used to pray the Nawafil on the back of his mount, carriage, by signs facing any direction. Ibn Umar used to do the same. Chapter 13 to offer Maghrib and Isha prayers together on a journey. Narrated Salim's father. The Prophet used to offer the Maghrib and Isha prayers together whenever he was in a hurry on a journey. Narrated Ibn Abbas. Allah's Messenger used to offer the Sur and Asr prayers together on journeys and also used to offer the Maghrib and Isha prayers together. Narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet used to offer the Maghrib and the Isha prayers together on journeys. Narrated Anas, Allah's Messenger used to offer these two prayers together on journeys, i.e. Yeah, the Maghrib and the Isha. Chapter 14 Should the Adhan and Ikama be pronounced when the Maghrib and Isha prayers are offered together? Narrated Asturi Salim told me Abdullah bin Umar said I saw Allah's messenger delaying the Maghrib prayer till he offered it along with the Isha prayer whenever he was in a hurry during the journey Salim said Abdullah bin Umar used to do the same whenever he was in a hurry during the journey After making a call for the Kama, For the Maghrib prayer, he used to offer free rakat and then perform taslim. After waiting for a short while, he will pronounce the ikama for the Isha prayer and offer two rakat and perform taslim. He never prayed any nawafil in between the two prayers or after the Isha prayers till he got up in the middle of the night for tahajud prayer. Narrated Anas bin Malik Whenever the Prophet started a journey before noon, he used to delay the Sur prayer till the time of Asr and then offer them together. And if the sun declined at noon, he used to offer the Sur prayer and then ride for the journey. Chapter 15 To delay the Salat Us Sur till the Asr prayers. Narrated Anas bin Malik Whenever the Prophet started the journey before noon, he used to delay the Sur prayer 
till the time for the Aster prayer and then he would dismount and then and pray them together and whenever the sun declined before he started the journey he used to offer the sewer prayer and then ride for the journey chapter 16 whenever a person travels after midday he should offer the sewer prayers and the ride for the journey narrated on Asbi Malik whenever the prophet started on a journey before noon he used to de delay the sewer prayers till the time for the Asa prayer and then he would dismount and offer them together and whenever the sun declined before he started on a journey he used to offer this offer the sewer prayers and then ride for journey chapter 17 to offer salat prayers while sitting narrated Aisha Allah's messenger prayed in his house while sitting during his illness and the people prayed behind him standing and he pointed to them to sit down when he had finished the prayer he said the imam is to be followed and so when he bows you should bow and when he lifts his head you should also do the same narrated Anas bin Malik Allah's messenger peace be upon him fell down from a horse and his right side was either injured or scratched so he went to inquire about his health the time for a prayer became due and he offered a prayer while sitting and we prayed while standing he said the imam is to be followed so if he says takbir you should also say takbir and if he bows you should also bow and when he lifts his head you should also do the same and if he says Samia lahu liman hamida Allah hears whoever sends his praises to him you should say Rabbana walakal lahamd O oh, our Lord all the praises are for you see hadith number 656 volume 1 narrated Imran bin Hussein who had piles I asked Allah's messenger about the praying of a man while sitting he said if he prays while standing it is better and he who prays while sitting gets half the reward of that who prays standing and whoever prays while lying gets half the reward of that who prays while sitting chapter 18 to offer salat prayers by signs while sitting narrated Abdullah bin Bureyda Imran bin Hussein had piles. Once Abu Mamar, narrated from Imran bin Hussein, had said, I asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, about the prayer of a person while sitting. He said, It is better for one to pray standing, and whoever prays sitting gets half the reward of that who prays while standing, and whoever prays while lying gets half the reward of that who prays while sitting. Chapter 19 Whoever cannot offer Salat while sitting can offer Salat while lying on his side. Narrated Imran bin Hussein Had piles so I asked the Prophet about the prayer. He said, pray while standing and if you can't, pray while sitting and if you cannot do even that, then pray lying on your side. Chapter 20 Whoever starts his salat sitting because of ailment and then during the salat prayer feels better can finish the rest while standing. Narrated Aisha The mother of the faithful believers, I never saw Allah's messenger offering the night prayer while sitting except in his old age and then he used to recite while sitting and whenever he wanted to bow he would get up and recite 30 or 40 verses while standing and then bow narrated Aisha the mother of the faithful believers Allah's messenger in his last days used to pray sitting he would recite while sitting and when 30 or 40 verses remained from the recitation he would get up and recite them while standing and then he would bow and prostrate he used to do the same in the second raka after finishing the prayer 
he used to look at me and if I was awake he would talk to me and if I was asleep he would lie down. <laughs>